very good morning students so last class we discussed about the magnetic properties catalytic properties and the alloy formation and what are interstitial compounds and how do d block elements form the complexes that all we discussed in detail so today we are going to see the important compounds of transition elements the two important compounds are like the major compound what we are discussed today is potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate so we are going to discuss potassium dichromate and potassium di permanganate in detail that is about their preparation properties uses and their structure permanganate ion structure and the chromate ion structure we are going to discuss so first we have is potassium dichromate the molecular formula is k2cr2o7 so how it is prepared so it is prepared from chromate ore so the ore is concentrated by gravity gravity separation so you have to take the chromate ore so we know what is gravity separation first lesson we learned and th this is mixed with excess of sodium carbonate and lime and roasted in the reverberatory furnace so we have different types of furnace already we discussed in the first period first uh, class from the first chapter like reverberatory furnace means all the stones will be heated where the heat will be radiated on the substance for heating okay so here you have to take the chromate ore and you have to heat it in the reverberatory furnace around 900 to 1000 degrees celsius you will get sodium chromate iron oxide and then carbon dioxide gas will be released the roasted mass is treated with water to separate soluble sodium chromate from insoluble iron oxide so you have to you have to react that with insoluble iron oxide the yellow solution of sodium chromate is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid which converts sodium chromate into sodium dichromate okay so here it is now here it is a salt of sodium okay yellow color of this sodium chromate will be converted into orange red orange red color of sodium dichromate and this will be concentrated to remove less soluble sodium sulfate i the convert panvanga the resulting solution is further filtered and transferred and concentrated it is cooled to get crystals of sodium sulfate and dihydrate and the saturated solution of sodium dichromate in water is mixed with kcl and then concentrated to crystals of sodium chloride so what they are saying the saturated solution of sodium dichromate irukla ivad water la nam eduthukono it is mixed with the water with kcl again dilute pannite concentrate panna odane idu crystal form agum to grid the crystal sodium sodium chloride crystal form aanadukaprama namakku micha meedi irukra filtrate la enna irukona k2cr2o7 irukum அதாவது சோடியம் சல்ஃபேட்டில் நம்ம கேசிஎல் போட்டோம்னா அந்த சோடியமும் குளோரைனும் சேர்ந்து சோடியம் குளோரைடாக வெளியே வந்தோன்னே இந்த பொட்டாசியம் போயிட்டு அந்த குரோமேட் சால்ட்டோட ஜாயின் ஆகி பொட்டாசியம் டைக்ரோமேட் கிறிஸ்டல்ஸ் நமக்கு கிடச்சிரும் ஸோ ஹியர் தி ஹாவ் ஷோன் த ஈக்வேஷன் சோடியம் டைக்ரோமேட்டை நம்ம சோடியம் பொட்டாசியம் குளோரைட் சொல்யூஷனோட ரியாக்ட் பண்ணும்போது வி வில் கெட் த ஆரஞ்ச் ரெட் கலர் ஆஃப் பொட்டாசியம் டைக்ரோமேட் வாட் ஆர் இட்ஸ் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் potassium dichromate is an orange and crystalline solid which melts at 671 kelvin and it is moderately soluble in cold water but very much soluble in hot water so moderately na normal water la it is very much less soluble but very highly soluble in hot water on heating it decomposes and forms a chromate and molecular oxygen okay dichromate cr2o3 dichromate and molecular oxygen will be formed that is chromium oxide or dichromate you can say as it emits uh, as it emits toxic chromium fumes upon heating it is mainly replaced by sodium dichromate so it is uh, after heating it will we will get the actual product uh, from sodium dichromate we will get the main product that is potassium dichromate so here we have the structure of dichromate ion and the structure of chromate ion so chromate ion is given here on the left hand side cro4 cro4 is the molecular formula so cr at the center on four oxygen on the other side like a tetrahedral structure with two minus charge and the structure of dichromate means you have to take two chromium ion with the seven oxygen atom with one abridged oxygen in the center so here also the charge is 2 minus okay now both the chromate and dichromate ions are oxo anions of chromium and they are moderately strong oxidizing agents and these chromium ion is in plus 6 oxidation state in the chromium and oxidation state in a plus 6 very important and it is an aqueous solution chromate and dichromate ions can be interconvertible and in an alkaline solution chromate ion is predominant whereas dichromate ion becomes 
ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಸಿಡಿಕ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಯಾರು ಯಾರೋಡೆ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುವ ಡೈಕ್ರೋಮೇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಸಿಡಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಈ ಸಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಡೈಕ್ರೋಮೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಸಿಡಿಕ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ಲ ಇದು ಹೈಲಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಯಾನ್ಸು ಇದು ಆಸಿಡಿಕ್ ನೇಚರ್ಲ ಇರ್ಕೋ ಆಸಿಡಿಕ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಲನ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದ ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೋಟ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮಿಯಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಡೈಕ್ರೋಮೇಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಫೆರಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಫೆರಿಕ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಲ ಇರೋದು ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಅಯೋಡೈಡ್ ಅಯೋನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಯೋಡೈನ್ ಐ ಮೈನಸ್ಲ ಇರೋದು ಐ ಟೂ ಆ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಕು ದೆನ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ಲಿರಿಂದು ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ಗೆ ಬರೋದು ಅಪ್ಡಿಂಗಿರೋದು ಮೂರು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಪಣಿರ್ಕೋ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಕಂದ ಅರ್ಥ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಸಲ್ಫೈಡ್ ಅಯಾನ್ ಟು ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಮೈನಸ್ಲಿರಿಂದು ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಲ ಇರ್ಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಸಲ್ಫೇಟ್ ಅಯಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಟೂಲಿರಿಂದ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಟೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾನಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಕೊಹಾಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಹೆಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಓ ಹೆಚ್ ಎಥನಾಲ್ ಬಂದು ಎಥನಾಯ್ಕ್ ಆಸಿಡಾಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರೊಮೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಡೈಕ್ರೋಮೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೀಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಸನ್ಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಲ್ಫ್ಯೂರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ orange red vapors of chromal chloride is evolved so we have to collect that gas in the another test when we have to confirm for the presence of chloride in 11th standard and this reaction is used to press, uh, identify the presence of chloride ion in inorganic qualitative analysis and the chromyl chloride vapors are dissolved in we have to dissolve the collected vapors in sodium hydroxide so that you will get the uh, yellow precipitate okay treated with lead acetate and acetic acid when you will get the yellow precipitate of lead chromate so this equation all that that is what we did in your 11th standard now use of potassium dichromate what are the uses it is used as a strong oxidizing agent and used in dyeing and printing used in la- leather tanneries and chrome tanning and it is used in quantitative analysis for the estimation of ion compounds and iodide so that is all about the potassium dichromate now potassium permanganate this is little bigger so km no4 while writing you have to write capital letter k capital letter m small letter n because it is manganese mn and oxygen o4 so km no4 is potassium permanganate and then potassium permanganate is prepared from pyrolusite that is mno2 that is manganese dioxide so the preparation involves the following step steps can first you have to convert the manganese dioxide to potassium manganate so for that you have to react this mno2 with potassium hydroxide in the presence of air uh, so that you will get the potassium manganate k2mno4 that will be green in color and the oxidation of potassium manganate to potassium permanganate what you have to do is you have it can be oxidized in two ways either by chemical oxidation or by electrolytic by chemical oxidation what you have to do is this k2 mn o4 irukla adilirundhu k mn o4 2 minus ion mattum eduthu again you have to treat that with ozone o3 and water to get mn o4 minus that is manganate ion kadaiko and the manganate ion oda nama
now these are converted into mang permanganate ions at anode so green color will get converted into purple color forming ma permanganate ion hydrogen gas will be liberated at the cathode anode la in the purple colored compound will be formed the purple colored solution is concentrated by evaporation and focal with and made to form as crystals on cooling so we have to make them to cool to get the crystals what are the physical properties potassium permanganate exists in the form of dark purple crystal which melts at 513 kelvin it is sparingly soluble in cold water but fairly soluble in hot water so this is the permanganate ion structure one is the that is mn mn o4 minus so you are having manganese at the center and oxygen around in the tetrahedral shape with a charge minus so it is tetrahedral geometry in the central metal atom manganese ion whose oxidation state is plus 7 and the hybridization is sp3 hybridized moving on to the chemical properties first we have is action of heat when heated potassium permanganate decomposes to form potassium manganate and manganese dioxide so kmno4 gives k2mno4 and manganese dioxide and oxygen so when you heat this this will decompose to potassium manganate and manganese dioxide when you react this potassium permanganate with the concentrated sulfuric acid that is cold acid you will get the manganese heptoxide mn Two O seven, which subsequently decomposes and explosively, and then but with hot concentrated sulfuric acid, we will get potassium permanganate. Uh, we will get the manganese sulfate. Cold la we are getting the heptoxide. Uh, with this, with the hot solution of sulfuric acid, we will get the manganese sulfate. And the oxidizing property, it is oxidizing nature is given in different mediums. first in in neutral medium so in neutral medium what will happen it reduces to manganate manganese dioxide manganate ion enava reduce agudhu manganese ion oxide reduce ago and also it oxidizes hydrogen sulfide to sulfur it oxidizes thiosulfate to sulfate thiosulfate to into simple sulfate next in alkaline medium in the presence of alkali metal hydroxide the manganate ion that is the permanganate ion is converted into manganate mno4 minus enna vagudhu mno4 2 minus permanganate na o4 minus charge is 1 minus okay manganate ion means the charge will be 2 minus and this manganate is further reduced to mno2 by some reducing agent so we have to use any reducing agent so the overall reaction if you write you can see the uh, permanganate giving the manganate ion with the three electrons and the addition of water and this is also similar to that of the neutral medium reaction next is bayer's reagent so this K, this kmno4 cold dilute alkaline solution of potassium permanganate we call it as a bayer's reagent and it is used for oxidizing the alkenes to diols alkenes namba enna pandrom diols adhaadu alcohol rend alcohol group namma ulla introduce pandrom for example ethylene can be converted into ethylene glycol and this reaction is used as test for the unsaturation so this year we will do this practicals that is to identify whether the given compound is saturated or unsaturated we will do this bayes reagent test if it is saturated means it will not uh, the color change will not take place if it is unsaturated means the color change of this potassium permanganate will change from pink color to brownish color which means the bond is breaking inside and substitution takes place in acid medium same way it shows the reaction with the dilute sulfuric acid potassium permanganate is acting as a strong oxidizing agent this manganate permanganate will get converted into manganate ion that is mn2 plus ion not manganate so the oxidizing nature of potassium permanganate in acidic medium is illustrated here how it is acting as an oxidizing agent in acidic medium and that is in the presence of acid so it oxidizes ferrous salt to ferric salt iodide ions to iodide iodine and oxalic acid to carbon dioxide and sulfide ion to sulfur so all these equations are not important you just go through and then nitrites to nitrates alcohols to aldehydes sulfite to sulfate okay and then 
uses of potassium dichromate finally some importance uh, some important uses we will have it same way like other potassium dichromate this potassium permanganate is also used as the strong oxidizing agent and is it is also used for the treatment of various skin infection and fungal infection for the food and it is also used for the water treatment in industries to remove ion and hydrogen sulfide from well water so it is used to remove the h2s and ion from well water water treatment industries and it is used as a bayer reagent in organic compound analysis this year we are having for detecting the unsaturated compounds and it is also used as a quantitative analysis for the estimation of ferrous sulfate oxalates and hydrogen peroxide and iodides here one note is given hydrochloric acid cannot be used for making the medium making the medium acidic so here we cannot use kmno for an acidic use panana hydrochloric acid use panna mudiyadu because this permanganate ion react with hydrochloric acid to form mn2 plus a mathiro and also nitric acid also cannot be used since it is a good oxidizing agent and it reacts with reducing agent in the reaction so only we can use சட்டு சல்ஃபியூரிக் ஆசிடை மட்டும் தான் இங்கே ஆக்சிடைசிங் ஏஜெண்ட் அசிடிக் மீடியமில் யூஸ் பண்ணணும்னா வி கேன் யூஸ் ஓன்லி சல்ஃபியூரிக் ஆசிட் வெரி 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 இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் டு மேக் த மீடியம் அசிடிக் இன் த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பொட்டாஷியம் பர்மாங்கனேட் வி கே நாட் யூஸ் ஹைட்ரோக்ளோரிக் ஆசிட் அண்ட் நைட்ரிக் ஆசிட் வி கேன் யூஸ் ஓன்லி சல்ஃபியூரிக் ஆசிட் பிகாஸ் தே ரியாக்ட் வித் த ரெடியூசிங் ஏஜெண்ட் அண்ட் தே வில் நாட் ரியாக்ட் த வித் த ஆக்சுவல் த வே தே வாண்ட் டு ரியாக்ட் and the equivalent weight of potassium permanganate in acid medium is 31.6 in basic medium is 158 in neutral medium is 52.67 so we should not forget this so now on the molecular weight of kmno4 by number of moles of electron transferred so here in the acid medium now you have to use h2so4 la so here there are five electrons electrons transferred so 31.6 basic medium la it is 158 neutral medium la it is 52.67 so these two note boxes are very very important with this we will stop here today next class we will see with the f block elements so with the today we are completing the d block elements so transition elements we have completed so for from this lesson still we are having inner transition elements that is f block elements we'll see it in the next class do your assignments do it sincerely learn and write the answers Thank you.